I work for AFSCME District Council 33, Local 488. I'm a business agent. Folks call me if they are in trouble at work. They call me um, if they have any kind of personnel issues that they may have. I negotiate contracts. I'm the chief negotiator for the local. I like the idea of helping people who are being mistreated at work. I saw so many injustices at the workplace, especially in reference to women. The disparity in the, in the pay was something that interests me a lot. Uh, one of my famous sayings has, has always been that women get praised while men get paid. One of the things that I wanted to do was do something about that pay difference. Today, the, you know, there is a, an attack on, on unions, especially public sector unions. The unions need to do some things differently. We need to, you know, once we got to the point where we were, we were getting um, decent benefits, good wages. We got complacent. When I worked for the city, I worked overtime to take my son to Disney World to make sure he had a good time. Today, people that I represent working all, all the overtime they can get to pay the electric and the gas bill. There's a difference. People shouldn't have to work like that just to, for the necessities. Every benefit we had, we fought for it. And I think that we've gotten away from the fight. I understand that um, things are different. I understand that the cities don't have the money that they used to have. I, I get all of that. I'm not opposed to change, but as we sit and talk about changes that need to be made, Everybody's got to walk away from the table with something. When I run in this union, I don't just run against the president. I have to take on the majority of the board because they support him. That's tough. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to do. Um, but I do it because I think it's the right thing to do. And uh, I just think the people deserve something more. You are a woman and you say what you mean and you mean what you say and you stand up if nobody else stands up with you because you believe that what you're doing is the right thing to do. You are viewed by, and this is a man's world, this, this labor movement, it's, it's a man's world and you are viewed as everything but a leader. But at the end of the day, all of them will say, nobody works harder than I do. And at the end of the day, my only concern is for the people. But I've learned to um, uh, put my feelings aside in terms of the election and respect the office of the president, because I think that that's important. If I never become president of the union, um, I will always be an advocate for people because I don't know how to do anything else. And I'm okay and I come back to work and do what I have to do for those 1,000 members that I represent. <laughs>